In this video, we discuss intracranial epidermoid and dermoid tumors. Result from the inclusion of ectodermal epithelial tissue or cutaneous ectoderm, respectively, during the closure of the neural tube. Intracranial dermoids are 0.04% to 0.6% of all intracranial tumors. Located along the midline. Contain all skin elements. Fat appears as a very low density on CT and of high signal intensity on T1 images on MRI. If a dermoid ruptures, the fat releases into the subarachnoid space, seen as fatty globules within the basal cystins or ventricles. Usually asymptomatic, but if ruptured, can be present as a septic meningitis. Epidermoid cysts are 0.2% to 1.8% of all intracranial tumors. Can be either central, within chiasmatic and quadrigeminal plate cystins, or eccentric, within the cerebellopontine angle, middle cranial fossa, sylvian fissure. Present at birth, but grow slowly by accumulating desquamated epithelium and conform to the shape of the portion of the subarachnoid space they occupy. May invaginate into the brain parenchyma. On CT, epidermoid cysts appear as well circumscribed, lobulated, non enhancing, homogeneously hyperdense lesions with similar density to CSF. No surrounding edema. On MRI, Epidermoid cysts have signal intensity close to that of CSF on T1, T2, and flare images. In DWI images, the epidermoid is bright. If you like the video, you can like it, comment it, and share it with your friends. If you are not subscribed yet, please subscribe and click the bell button.